Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. In this video, we're going to be talking about our WordPress developers, real developers, right? So I got this topic from a tweet that I seen today. And for those of you guys that don't know, today WordPress is trending on Twitter. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of people posting about Twitter or posting about WordPress on Twitter so uh, this is pretty much the tweet I'll show you guys right now Let's see if we could go to the next screen uh, but basically here it goes okay our WordPress developers real developers especially when they don't know HTML CSS but only drag and drop in WordPress right and this is like a misconception that people have and, and people think like um, most WordPress developers are just using themes and just drag and dropping things and pretty much you know just <laughs> you know it's an easy job like you're not really coding you're not really doing anything you're not creating anything everything is pre-built as if wordpress already provides you with everything for every type of business that's out there right that's like the misconception right and the same thing when you hear people say well if you start with wordpress or you get a wordpress job you're gonna get stuck there and the most you can make is sixty thousand dollars right i remember a youtuber years ago said that and i'm like man i lost respect for that guy <laughs> that same moment because it's clearly they don't know about WordPress development and the ecosystem so I went in and I actually tweeted this out right I see WordPress trending and see this question which has been asked a million times by people that don't know about WordPress right and the ecosystem there's a big difference between WordPress developer and a content editor right WordPress developers are full stack PHP developers check the examples below and we actually went in created a thread right and show you that to be a wordpress developer and for most roles as a wordpress developer they're asking for html css javascript jquery sometimes react sometimes angular right uh php object oriented programming with php mysql right uh theme development plugins development right knowing how to use linux uh for deployment and the salary ranges usually are from seventy thousand to one hundred eighty thousand dollars. So the fact that some people think like, man, you go as a WordPress developer and the most you're gonna make is sixty thousand is bullshit. There's plenty of companies out there that are using PHP and also using WordPress, and they will pay top dollars for a developer that knows how to actually develop in uh, WordPress okay and you could actually see it here on some of the job listings that you will find 55 75 dollars uh, dollars an hour 95 dollars an hour right like 104 131 thousand right like you could literally see this out there like this is not me making it up this is me speaking from somebody who has experience on WordPress okay and PHP so again now, there's a big difference between being a WordPress developer and being a content editor, okay? A content editor, all they really need to know is SEO, have attention to detail, meaning that when the copywriter or whoever gives you the content, right, you make sure that you put the right title, the right uh, H2 tag uh, or H2 heading, um, make sure that you have a table of content, make sure that the paragraphs are formatted properly, making sure that the images show up properly, that there's an ALT tag on them, right? basic knowledge of html right from there you need to know how to use the cms what some of the guys consider drag and drop right the content editor is the one that actually goes in and drag and drops things into the website but somebody has to build that functionality right and that's usually a wordpress developer Ta-da! so uh, uh, again i'm trying to explain to you guys there's two different things. People think like, hey, I'm a WordPress developer because I can go in and spin up a website real quick, go to themeforest.net, buy a theme, and install into a WordPress website, and then ta-da, I put some content there, and that's it. I'm a WordPress developer. No, you're not a WordPress developer yet, okay? But at the same time, people cannot go in and lump all of those people into the role of wordpress developer because they're not really wordpress developers they're content editors okay so again what's the salary range for a content editor is 45k to 85k 
sometimes a little bit more if you have more experience and they give you more responsibilities maybe you're posting to uh, social media accounts maybe you know how to use Hootsuite maybe you know how to use uh, Facebook and Google Ads right and now your skills are a little bit higher so then you could demand more because you're basically doing uh, multiple roles right but in the beginning you are a content editor okay so that's the difference between a wordpress developer and a content editor so we gotta make that clear now for anybody that is interested in this right and interested in becoming a developer guys don't look down on this role because most companies are gonna want you to have experience for them to hire you at a high salary range right if you want to make 90 a hundred thousand dollars or more you need to have experience a lot of people try to do this backwards they go in and they say well i want to learn every skill under the freaking sun and then i'm gonna apply to a company don't do that this is a great way for you guys to get started come in learn basic html css right understand how to use a cms like wordpress shopify contentful hubspot right and then once you have those skills then now you can apply to this type of roles that are here okay and they're not bad right you have jobs that you could make 59,000 75,000 you have some 48 to 61,000 you have some 77,000 right um you have some 68,000 right so there's a lot of different type of roles that you guys could get started and build experience and then once you do that you can actually continue learning at home and basically go you know on your next step to your journey right which could be learning about front-end development or learning more about uh back-end development maybe now since you are in that ecosystem you might want to go in and learn about php development or maybe you want to learn more about node.js development or maybe you want to use uh something like uh, java spring right but now while you're learning those things you're actually building experience okay so again i wanted to make that clear for anybody that's uh, like wondering are wordpress developers or real developers it's like yes wordpress developers are real developers right now there's a subsection to doing some type of wordpress websites where you can pretty much just drag and drop everything but that's called a content editor and that's actually pretty simple to get started in right uh wordpress developer is a full stack developer meaning that you got to learn everything on the front end and learn everything in the back end to be a productive wordpress developer okay so i wanted to make that clear okay now for anybody that's interested in this right this is what we do at codingphase.com right we come in we teach you everything that you need to become a developer and we try to go in and get you guys the results right away by teaching you about skills in, in roles that are out there that no one is paying attention to like i just mentioned content editor no one's really paying attention to that role because everybody wants to get the 200 300 000 job at google right that's how they sell you a dream most of the influencers and, and boot camps they'll be like man we could get you to a 200 300 000 job it's like yo that's cap for you to get to that point you need experience but how do you get experience when companies are not hiring people without experience okay so you have to start somewhere so for you to get started i always recommend people to get started with content editing which as you can see is very straightforward right it's pretty much if you look over here the difference between learning how to become a content editor is just a couple of courses compared to being like let's say a full stack developer where you're gonna have to go in and learn all of this type of skills right so while you're still learning all of those type of skills come in learn the basics right get yourself a job as a content editor email developer right build experience and at the same time continue learning the rest of the skills that's going to take you a year a year and a half or sometimes if you're taking your sweet time two years to learn to become a full stack developer but guess what throughout your whole way you've been getting paid and you've been building experience so by the time you are a full stack developer and you decide to say hey i want to apply to this company as a php developer for example as a wordpress developer and they're paying 
paying one hundred thirty four thousand or they're paying ninety four thousand or they're paying one hundred fifty, whatever it might be. Guess what? You're not showing up there with just your hands and saying, please give me a job because I have potential. Nah. Now you show up with a year of experience working at a major company, major agency, wherever you're working at. Right. Now you're coming in with experience, which is what the company is asking for. Now, if you have the skills and you can demonstrate that you have the skills, now you're going to get higher for those higher paid roles. Right. It's a year of sacrifice. It's a six months of sacrifice that you're going to have to go in and go through this, you know, this different type of roles, content editor, HTML, email developer, et cetera. And again, you could even grow within those um, career paths. But if your goal is to be a full stack developer, guys, you need to first uh, start getting experience. So again, definitely check out the link below on the description. We're going to give you 20% off um, for just checking the website out and literally clicking on the link. Um, but yeah, again, I just wanted to make that a little bit clear. WordPress developers and content editors are two different things. So when somebody asks, are WordPress developers really developers? Yes, they are, right? Are content editors are real developers? I will say yes, it's a, a branch of development, but you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to have so many skills. So again, um, don't look down on those positions. Don't look down on those opportunities because that's what's going to get you to the higher range salaries is actually having experience and having like a real company on your resume that, shows, that says, hey, this person worked here for six months, a year, did a great job, etc." Like that's what's going to get you paid. Experience is everything in this industry. OK, you do not want to be one of those guys that's at home learning a whole bunch of stuff for two years, three years and literally can get a job. Trust me, we've seen it plenty of times here on YouTube. You could go through almost everybody's comments section. You see one poor dude, right? A poor soul, uh, infeli, what we call in DR, a poor infeli. And he's just crying out loud. He's like, oh, my God, the industry is so saturated. Nobody's hiring. There's no way to get jobs. They're not hiring beginner developers. And it's like, bro, you're trying to get a $200,000 job with zero experience. Yeah, you're not going to get it. All right. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Peace.